is quite an impressive mountain. Mount War. Well, we arrived here at uh, the uh, Mount Kapitao National Park and it's the uh, Kalani Gap Volcano and um, we've got uh, Mount War in the background and uh, we're going up uh, the gorge today so it'll be interesting to see uh, what it's like up in this area there's a small picnic area here and um, toilet facilities as well um, we're heading off to Wa Gorge. It's uh, one hour return, but we do intend to do a bit of an extended walk. We'll find out. This is uh, quite a pleasant little track going into the gorge. There's um, undoubtedly lots of tourists that use this section. Oh, we're walking along here and uh, on the way you can actually see uh, glimpses of the uh, gorge. It was only uh, half an hour's walk in. The first um, pools and it's probably a fairly good waterfall uh, when it's running. From the end of this pool we're uh, taking a sharp upwards trend. Uh, it's not that cold is it? Surely. Well, the um, uproot has uh, turned into a, a bit of a cliff. And Anne and uh, Ruth are not too far off the top. Well, we're at the top of the gorge, and it's quite a pretty one down there. Well, we've um, well and truly departed the uh, main trail going to the waterhole and uh, we're off heading towards Mount War. Unusual, this um, fig tree and it's just growing right down into the creek. Another uh, water hole, which I presume is used for swimming. Uh, this is the usual route down. I didn't quite took the fast route down, but uh, it's a lot easier that way than uh, the way I did. From um, this point, we're um, heading uphill again. Where it leads to, I have no idea, but we're going. And that's just, just to attempt. Otherwise, you won't get enough lighting. Okay? And what do you mean? Because you won't get enough lighting. I know. But that, yeah. what you've got to do then is. Mm. In the background, uh, there's the uh, ridge to go up Mount War. How about that? Our first herd of goats in the National Park. We've uh, eventually um, come to the top of the uh, gorge and there's a rather lovely uh, cliff formation. And we're hoping to have lunch at the top of that hill. Should only take about another half an hour to get there.
Yeah. We've uh, reached the uh, top end of the gorge. And uh, all you can say, this is um, fantastic. Gorgeous, in fact. In fact, it's gorgeous. This is um, where we're going to have uh, morning tea. Park does have a lot of goats in it, and you can see a goat track running along the side of the uh, cliff formation here. Another interesting waterfall, which is not waterfalling, but it'd look really great in the uh, wet weather. I need to go and uh, try and get into the gorge itself. It's uh, a little bit tricky here, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, Barry, will you put when you finish that? Well, we've uh, just set up a rope, and it seems to have missed its target. Hey? Rubbish is not Ruth quite rightly thinks. Yeah, no, I think that uh, just sit down like Ruth's doing, you won't have any problems. It's not um, all that bad. Is it, there's just nothing to hang on to? No, you hold on to the rope. Yeah, I know that. Yes, but I'm saying that's why Ruth put the rope up. Yes. They're so soft, these bushes. They are. This little grey-green bush. With very soft, furry leaves. It's beautiful, soft. Bring up a couple of leaves, please. Yep. We're in the um, amphitheatre that we saw from the top. Uh, it's a fairly significant one. It uh, cuts back into the rock about 10 metres. Shelf up there, it's got bird droppings on it. Oh, yes, so it has. Yeah, and higher up with some bird drop infections. We're into the um, creek now and we're heading uh, back down the gorge. We were just up there uh, probably about um, three quarters of an hour ago. That's where we had morning tea. Well, the last uh, 15 minutes was pretty exciting. We just came across that ledge and it was a straight drop for about 70, 80 metres below this cliff line. And as I look, there's all these white spots. And I think the possibility that they're rock that have fallen off the top of the hill splattered onto the uh, bottom of the gorge. Well, this is the uh, junction between the two gorges and we're heading off down the gorge out to the water holes. Now it's starting to get a bit cool and dark here so we're we've eventually uh, gotten down to a uh, path Uh, next day we decided to uh, go over to uh, Mitchell's Dyke on the western side of Mount Capitan. Yeah, well, there's certainly a few uh, vultures up there. Yeah. Some people want to tell you stories. This is uh, quite a nice view from this point. Um, it probably took uh, around about an hour. Wouldn't have been probably any more than an hour and 15 minutes to get here. But a wonderful spot. And we've got the birds singing in the background. There is um, quite a lot of uh, pig damage here, and it's pretty extraordinary. And that's what Ruth wants it to be a surprise, so don't look. The uh, name of this area, Ruth? This is Mitchell Dyke. Sorry? Miss Mitchell, Mitchell Dyke. Dyke. Mitchell's Dyke. As in, mate, no, not Mitchell's, just Mitchell Dyke. Mitchell Dyke. Now we're looking down uh, directly onto the uh, 
top of the lava flow here. Oh, it's that's, uh, pretty spectacular. That's the hump. The close one's camel's hump. Oh, this one's a yeah. camel's no, hump. No, no, no. There's two, two, this one, two oh, yeah. nobbies. This okay. one's camel's hump. The closest hump. one's yep. camel's hump, and I don't know what the other one is. Yep. So we saw that when we came, camel's hump. Yes. Do you need it back, Barry? No. We've just rejoined the uh, circuit track and we'll eventually just wander off uh, down the left hand side of the mountain and uh, rejoin the uh, track and back to the car. After coming from um, Mitchell's Dyke is that um, we find this other rather interesting dike formation. The dripping water. This is just a little bit of uh, dripping water coming down off the... Uh, this is a great section of the walk. And just down here is a little bit of a drop off. This is the um, virtually the end of the track. Um, it will eventually just go uh, straight down to meet the uh, circuit. And um, and yes, we've uh, reached the um, junction of the circuit. More likely to be black cockatoos. Mm -hmm.